I'm not a big collector, but like it's hard for me to get rid of that stuff because it's like a part of my childhood. No, I feel that. I, I, I think I'm still holding on to some uh, Pokemon cards somewhere. <laughs> Dude, which are with like they're worth a fortune. Some of them now. I I got gypped, man, in middle school. Did you? Somebody uh, got you. So I was a sixth grader, and this uh-huh. eighth grader told me, and I'm I'm a stupid little sixth grader. I, I'll say I'm stupid. I'm like, this guy. You'll do anything to be cool in sixth grade. Well, I'm not trying to. I'm trying to make money. Right. I, I oh, so you've been like you're like you're a born hustler. Yeah, you I'm were already hustling Pokemon. Like cards. yeah, I was like uh, okay. uh, mowing grass in the neighborhood. Yep. I was selling uh, gum and candy at school. That's why you and my, I do so well. <laughs> my uncle would it was a chip delivery guy mm-hmm. like for Lay's, and he used to give us boxes of, of chips. And I went to Newburgh Middle School, so oh, I take all Newburgh the hot, Middle School. I take Doritos and dog. hot fries. So I take them to school. Public school. These Catholic school kids don't yeah. know about the public school grind. Yeah, and you you win some and you lose some. So basically, right. I would sell gum, I would sell like drinks, I would sell like all kinds of candy, chips, and then like this one kid told me like, you know, he wasn't my friend really, but I knew his brother kind of. And basically, he was on a school bus. Uh-huh. And it was the school, it was the bus we did before we went to the compound, which is only like five minutes. So right. I really didn't know these kids well. So basically. The bus from home to the depot. So, like, uh, the kids uh, from the Newburgh, from the middle school to the depot, I, we only see him. I didn't really know him at all because we're only on a bus for five minutes and uh-huh. it's crammed. Right. I knew the kids after the depot because they lived in my neighborhood. So right, they were right, close. Right. It's a longer bus route. So these kids. I didn't have time to like kind of scope him out. He's older than me. I think at the time my brother's already gone to high school, mm-hmm. so I don't have him watching over me. I'm trying to make money, and I'm not really into Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh cards anymore. So I'm like, I'm in middle school, whatever. So I'm like, I'm not into it anymore. I have a huge collection at home. Nowadays it'd be worth a lot of money. Guaranteed. But anyways, this kid told me like he's like, hey, well, you got you got Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon cards, and I was like, yeah, I got like a whole, I got a bunch. What you want? And he was like, oh, like, give me this card, give me this card. And I was like, okay, First I got edition, yeah, holographic. Yeah, I, I'm, dude, I mean, line. I bought the brand new stuff when it was coming out. Right. And anyways, uh, that's what I spent all my allowance on. Did you ever go, hold on, did you ever go to Books a Million or anything like yeah, that for the tournament? That. I oh, bought, my I God, bought the big dude. packs. I had, like, the arm sleeve. Oh, the whole. Yeah. Anyways. There'd, there'd be 40-year-old dudes at Books a Million playing with kids. Yeah. I, right. They'd be playing, yeah, it was just kind of sad for them. But. Right. <laughs> but no, anyways, he was telling me, like, he, he want this card, and like I was like, okay, I got you, got you, got you. And I was like, all right, how much? And like, he said, like, I'll give you like $50. That's a lot in sixth grade, 50 and, and I was like, and I had like, I, and it's like, but I'll give you like 75 if you give me like your whole collection. Damn. And I, I, I tell you, like, it's stupid because uh, I really didn't care about it as much, so I was like, whatever. I was like, 75 bucks. And I'm not going to tell my parents. I'm going to make some quick money. Right. They don't care about it anyways because it's just like useless toys I don't use anymore. Right. So I took it to school. And like I think the kid, uh, what he did was uh, he um, he like took it from me. Like he's like, oh, these are nice. These are nice. <sighs> yeah, yeah, and then yeah. it was like toward the end of the school year. And like uh, literally like he like took it and threw it out the window to his friend who caught it. And then, and then like he ran and then... Basically, I was worried about the window. It ran. I was like, "Whoa!" And he ran off the bus. And it was like the last few weeks of the of the year. And basically, he was gone. Uh, he he never took the bus again oh, after that. Damn. So I mean, maybe he had the foresight to see how much they're going to be worth nowadays, or he was just being that's a, a dude, punk. That's that hood mindset. That's how they start. That's yeah. how that's how they start, man. They get they, so he stole it from me. And they I, swindle you for your Pokemon cards. Next thing you know, and this is the worst part. They're stepping it up. His the his names. brother. Obviously, his brother's close. It was like kind of like someone I knew, and I was like, I went to him. I was like, Hey, where's he at? Like, uh-huh. you know, I'm trying to get my car. I'm trying to get my money. I'm trying to get my cards back. One of the two, and uh, and he's like, This is what he said. He's like, Oh, that's that that problem is between you and him. There's nothing I can do. You to said help that you. to who now? To his friend? Or to his, his to his brother, which his is like kind of like my friend, not right, not right, really, right. but like someone I knew. Right. And he, I was like, "What? Can you help me out?" And he's like, "He said that problem's between you and him." Bro, you got baptized in fire. I'm like, but that, got, I'm you like, got, that's your brother. You got baptized he, in fire to the game, dude. You so, learned your lesson hard, but hey, you learned it early, sixth grade. I got I and got, over like seventy five dollars or less than that. I mean, but they like I learned it worth a lot, man. and then that's a learning lesson. Mm-hmm. I don't really trust people at all anymore. Not like in a bad way. I need to respect them and trust them right. first. Show them some trust. Right. I don't just trust people right out of nowhere. Yeah. So like I That's learned a it early. Lesson so in life and business. It's and helped anything, me yeah. in anything. <laughs>